Okay, so, um, yeah, it's been a really, really long time this time since I've um, made a video. Uh, as, as we all know, if you've watched my videos, you know that um, I fell into a pretty big pit of sadness and depression um, after the death of my friend Joe Kelly. And uh, I think I'm starting to come out of it now. We are currently in the middle of the COVID vi virus, or not in the middle of it, but it, kind of in the beginning stages of the COVID virus. A lot of us have been uh, quarantined or self-quarantined. We're at home and uh, some of us are just alone. I, I haven't been quarantined. I actually still have my job. Um, they've cut our hours, so I have more time to work in the studio. But I've had a problem making videos. Number one, the iPad I was using is totally gone now. It's totally dead. Uh, and so I'm working off of my phone today. That's why the video is going to be teeny weeny and I look funky. But uh, I did something the other day after watching all those people in Italy on their balconies singing and, and people around the world uh, going live on Facebook and, and doing um, live music uh, concerts, I kept thinking, what could I do, what could I do, what could I do that would be similar and hopefully inspire other artists to follow suit. And one of the things I've done is I started putting my artwork up actually in front of my house. I live in a small cul-de-sac cul in an area of Sarasota called Gulfgate. If you're in Sarasota, find me. It, I'm not giving out my address because I have people who are slightly obsessed and that's not going to happen. But you can find me. Uh, and so I've been talking to other artists and musicians around here about doing the same in the evening, especially on evening walks, putting, putting themselves so their artwork out front. So I've had my garage door open, I've been painting, um, but showing. I have a little bit of work out during the day and then in the evening, Closer to five, six o'clock, I started putting more work out, and it's mainly been for passers-by. Uh, I did post on Facebook, did post on Instagram, and now I'm saying so on YouTube. Um, anyway, it's out there, and it's it's been nice. I haven't had a throngs of people running by to go, oh my god, I love your work. Uh, it was just a way of getting over that hump. Um, it's slightly embarrassing, a little awkward for the neighborhood, I'm sure, although everyone's being very nice. Uh, it, I think it's generally seen as a crazy lady at the end of the cul-de-sac doing something a little ridiculous, but she seems happy, and that's what I'm going with. I'm just going with that freak flag. I'm waving it high. And that's helped me to do this, to make another video. It also helped me to start a couple new paintings. My son very generously and caringly sent me a couple of um, canvases, this being one, uh, I have another one behind me, and that's helped me to start new work, and work I haven't thought about doing in quite a while. I'm also working on my uh, commissioned portraits and a couple more landscapes. So I've got six paintings going, and I love having more than one or two to do. It's easier for me to think. So I have six paintings going. Maybe in a few weeks I'll be able to afford more canvases and then I can get the usual 10, 11, 12 going. And that'll make me even happier. Um, I'd be really happy if I could be quarantined with Netflix and doing this, but there we are. I still, I'm still going to work uh, three to four days a week as opposed to six or seven. Um, anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm hoping at some point I can do a another live painting session, but again, it would be using my phone, so it would be tiny, but it isn't really about doing a big show, it's about just sharing time and keeping each other working. Let me tell you, uh, show you what I've started, though, in the last two canvases, because I'm really excited. I have had this image for a very long time. I have a stack of images of young men, uh, little boys, on hobby horses, and I'm kind of obsessed with the idea. Some of these boys are dressed in skirts and feathers and very flouncy outfits, and I'm just obsessed with this idea. Not really sure why, except it's like a gender uh, juxtaposition. 
that very shortly after this, in just a few years, would have to be switched for him to be accepted socially. And you really enjoy that idea. So this is one. Let me show you the other one that I've started. This is super abstracty right now. Super abstracty and very stick figure. It's Alec Baldwin. Can't really see it from there, but it's Alec Baldwin. I understand from people on Facebook and Instagram, they recognize the eyes and the lips, the lip position. They knew exactly who it was before I said anything. Alec Baldwin. I listen to his podcast, Here's the Thing. I follow him on Instagram and watch all of his videos. I listen to his autobiography. He is just a man that is driven, absolutely driven for his art. Well, also his family, but for his art. And, of course, that's something that I really admire. But what I loved in this, and this is actually a still I took from one of his videos, what I love from this is the weariness in his face in this COVID-infested world where this pandemic is spreading and we don't know when or if we're ever going to be able to get it under control, if it's going to be in two weeks, which they promised two, three weeks ago, or a month, which it can't possibly happen, or in a few months. He is currently under quarantine in Manhattan, he and his family. They are self-quarantined in New York, of course. Uh, it's, I think it's mandatory quarantine at this point, I'm not sure. But they're not encouraging people to leave their homes because the virus is just spreading and spreading and spreading easily. And that little city with 8 million people, they've had, uh, I believe, over 1,000 deaths at this point. And this man is sitting in his, in his apartment. And yes, he is privileged enough where he can afford to sit in his apartment and pontificate. But the weariness on his face in this particular um, video where I got the still from, just it just seemed to embody everything that most of us feel. We are exhausted by this. We are exhausted that we cannot get the help or the care that we need. We are exhausted that we cannot get tested. We are exhausted by the absolute and complete lack of leadership, not only in DC, but are in our own states or in our own counties. Um, uh, if you live in a primarily Republican county, town, city, state, they're just trying to pretend this will end tomorrow and okie dokie, you know, please just keep um, intermingling and spending money. And I feel the weariness that he expressed as do most of my friends and pretty much anyone I know on any social media um, that I'm connected to. So that's why I tackled this guy or started to tackle this guy. I quite honestly didn't know if I could do a portrait again after Yolandi's death, but I'm doing it. And doing him, starting him, has helped me to go back to the commissions. I hope that you're finding time to create. I hope you're finding a way to create. I hope you're finding that vein that we desperately need to keep creating while shutting out this nightmare of a world that we li currently live in. Um, I, I hope that you're being productive. So anyway, I'm going to go back to painting. I'm going to go back to producing and embarrassing myself in front of all of Gulf Gate by putting stuff on my lawn, like the crazy lady at the end of the cul-de-sac who lives with mm -hmm. a cat in the dog. Just, oh, she's nutsy. I know that's what they're saying. Anyway, y'all take care. Please stay safe. Please stay well. Please quarantine. Please social distance. Oh, and by the way, um, the when I post about uh, the work I have hanging up, it's under the hashtag social distance underscore art walks. Social distance underscore art walks. If you decide to do this, if you decide to just put yourself out there for the neighbors, not, not, not to sell, just to say, I am here. Here is something for you to help you 
take your mind off of things for a few minutes. If you decide to do that, please tag yourself social distance underscore art walks. Okay? All right.